Okay, I'm going to try to explain this uh, recursive expression for the um, knapsack problem. Uh, I'm going to do my best. We'll see what, ha <laughs> what happens here. But first, let's make sure we understand recursion. Let's take a look at Fibonacci, just to make sure everybody understands about this. Now, we can define fi the Fibonacci sequence like this. We can say Fibonacci of 0 equals 0, Fibonacci of 1 equals 1. And, uh, and Fibonacci of n equals uh, Fibonacci of n minus 1 plus Fibonacci of n minus 2. If you're not familiar with that, then uh, this is going to be a pretty hard video to watch. <laughs> you, you need to understand th this recursion process. Basically, let's suppose Fibonacci of n, n was 2. If it was 2, then Fibonacci of n minus 1 would be 1, and Fibonacci of n minus 2 would be 0, so Fibonacci of 2 is going to be yeah, 1. 1 plus 0. So it is 3 and so on. So you can compute this thing recursively. That's how the recursion expressions work. Okay? Uh, the reason I'm explaining this is because you need to understand this before you can understand what I'm about to tell you about the recursive expression of the knapsack problem. Now, <clears throat> let's look at na the knapsack problem here. Let's change colors. It's called the, the zero one knapsack problem here. I'm going to explain it to you recursively. Now, all of this can be found at Wikipedia. If you go to Wikipedia and look up Fibonacci sequence, or you look up go to Fi Wikipedia and look up knapsack problem, you can find this here. There's sources and other textbooks you can use to confirm Wikipedia. We don't like to use Wikipedia as a final source, but it is a good starting point to explore sources. So. Anyway, it does a good job, in my opinion, on uh, this. So let's take a look at what they say. Um, we're going to look, we're going to define a, uh, a function m, okay, of, uh, of i, w. m is the maximum value that can be attained with a weight less than or equal to w using items up to i. So i, you, imagine, you're, imagine you have a knapsack. We'll actually even draw a knapsack here. We have a, I don't know, I can't really draw one, but let's just suppose we have a sack here, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a, not a good knapsack, but just forget that. <clears throat> um, the, the, uh, you may put in, you know, one item, two items, three items, and then what, whatever item we're working on is the i-th item, item number i, okay? And, uh, and then the uh, m of iw here is the maximum value that can be attained with a weight less than or equal to w using items up to i. So this is the weight of that item, okay, of the, of the i-th item. So each of these items has its own weight. W of i, and so this i th item would be W of i. So let, let's just put that here. The weight for this i th item is W of i. Hopefully that's that's good enough to explain there. Okay, so now, so now we're going to do the same kind of thing as I just did with Fibonacci. Only I'm going to do that with um, this knapsack problem. M of zero W is going to equal zero. That means if there's no items put in there, no matter what the value is, it's still going to be zero. M of i zero equals zero. So the maximum value that can be attained um, when the weight is zero is going to be zero. 
and let that sink in for a second there. It's similar to these things with Fibonacci. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. M of I W is going to be M of I minus 1, the item before the one that we put in, W, where weight is the uh, W without the I's on there is the, uh, the capacity of the knapsack. So in other words, the, 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 current, the current ith weight here is the same as the I minus 1 weight if, and this is important here, if uh, W of I is greater than the weight limit. Now this is an important point and I might want to skip over this here because W here is the overall weight limit. Okay? And uh, W of I is the weight limit at I. So if, if W of I is going to push you over the limit, then the, the weight limit is I minus 1. Okay, that's how we're defining that function. Now, <clears throat> hopefully that's clear enough. Now, the, the important one here is M of I, W equals the max, the maximum of M of I minus 1, W In other words, the uh, the weight limit, the weight that we hit in the prior instance of the item put into the knapsack, um, and the maximum of that, and basically, let's say W plus W of I plus. Uh, the uh, maximum value that was attained on I minus 1 um, times the weight minus I. Yeah. And that would be this. So, so let's take a look at this here. It's basically on this, if, if you, if we haven't that, that, and that's if the ith value does n is not over the limit. It's less than or equal to the, to the limit. That's if W of I is less than or equal to W. Okay, so... And that's the expression that, uh, that the professor was talking about in class. It's, this is the recursive way of explaining um, the, the zero one knapsack problem. You have, you're basically maximizing the amount of these weights that can put in here that are underneath the limit. And I believe, um, I want to say, instead of using W, I think they used, she used uh, V of K and W of K. So you could use V, but that, it's just not really important. The important thing to know is that this is the weight of the of the uh, knapsack in the prior in the prior you know iteration of putting putting items into the knapsack, and this is the one if you add uh, the item that you're on, item number I. That's this one. If if the item if if the I item will not put you over the limit, then you take the maximum of these two. So I think that pretty much explains um, explains the knapsack recursive expression of the knapsack problem. Gosh, I hope that helps, guys. Good luck in the test. <laughs>